the inflammation process is at the root of practically every health condition that exists in America right now. It's at the root of heart disease. It's at the root of cancer. It's at the root of diabetes. It's at the root of Alzheimer's. So if you're diabetic, right? If you're diabetic, you are twice as likely to get Alzheimer's. Why would that be? What does your blood sugar have to do with your brain function, right? Um, another stat that I recently read was that if you're a diabetic, by the time you're 65, you're 220 percent, you have a 220 percent increase in likelihood of cognitive impairment, right? So let's talk about why some of these things happen and why the, the, the way of eating that I'm going to talk to you about is this. So here's the nuts and bolts of what I teach. It's low glycemic, meaning it's low sugar. It's high fat, right? Most Americans are fat deficient, right? They're, they, they have lots of the wrong fats. They're deficient in the good fats. So we want a low glycemic, high fat, high fruit and vegetable based diet, right? Essentially what our genes are coded to consume are fruits, vegetables, meats, seeds, and nuts. So there's some prominent researchers that if, you, if, if you're kind of nerdy about it like me and you actually want some peer-reviewed articles, I'll, I'll give you some of that stuff later. But from a genetic standpoint, it takes thousands of years for our genes to change, meaning the actual blueprint, the genetic code. So if you study genetics, about 4% of all health conditions are genetic meaning you actually have a genetic air problem that's causing your health condition. The rest of the 96% are not genetic in origin. And it takes thousands of years for genes to change. So why is that important to you? Because we were raised in a generation where we were taught that poor health comes from bad germs, bad genes, and bad luck. Right? You interact with bad germs, or you have, were born with bad genes, or you got bad luck, and that's why you're sick. But that's not consistent with science, right? Science says that 96% of us are walking around with a perfect blueprint, a perfect genetic code to express health. How do we know that to be true? Because when you were 6 and 10 and 20 and 30 and 40, if your body could regulate its blood pressure, if it could regulate its blood sugar, if it could regulate its blood cholesterol, then obviously your DNA was programmed to be able to do that. So what happened at 46 or 52 or whatever day you magically, your blood pressure went high, your cholesterol went high, your blood sugar went high, that all of a sudden your DNA just changed magically? Or is it from years and years and years of poor lifestyle habits that finally put your body into what we call an adaptive state? Does that make sense? So that's what science tells us. So we don't get sick from bad luck, bad germs, or bad genes. We get sick from bad choices 96% of the time.